Yo, what's up guys? It's TJ here with a training video today. I'm doing something a little bit more different, uh, specifically with just giving away a lot of the farm. So um, at least with my content more recently, I uh, just want to be able to give a lot more value and, you know, really pull the curtain uh, behind the scenes. And, you know, quite frankly, over these past four years of my entrepreneurial journey, you know, I've learned quite a lot of different things and a lot of different valuable lessons that would love to share with you at no cost and no fee. And Hopefully, eventually, you know, we either uh, do business together, um, have a relationship together, whatever it is. Uh, hopefully, you find value from what I give out. Uh, so quite frankly, what I'm sharing with you guys today is um, how to run Facebook ads specifically uh, in the automotive niche, okay? So I've spent countless hours running Facebook ads, testing different uh, Facebook ads. Uh, and I've spent thousands of dollars learning how to run Facebook ads at this point um, a lot. So, you know, I really just want to, you know, give away uh, what I've learned and hopefully you can take this and, you know, be successful with Facebook ads uh, yourself. And, you know, uh, I'm going to just jump straight into it. Okay. So uh, one of the most important things that I want to go ahead and cover in today's video specifically is going to be how to get uh, or how to create an ad that will get you a good cost per result in car sales. Okay, so this is one of the most valuable lessons I've personally have learned in car sales uh, and automotive um, uh, advertising. So specifically when it comes to running ads, okay, um, and marketing yourself, one of the most important things is um, understanding the pain points uh, and, and offering a solution, okay? So when it comes to automotive and the automotive niche like it's like basic marketing 101 is every single product that is sold solves some sort of solution uh some way shape or form right uh whether that be financial relationship uh, or health wise right so those are kind of like the three categories that most products fall underneath so uh, specifically when it comes to the automotive space, it's very, very important to understand how to create an offer. And this is where I see a lot of people go wrong, where they just try it and like do this willy nilly um, and just try it on their own. And, you know, which is great uh, that most people like if you are trying this on your own, but this is why this video is very important because um, uh, from a lot of the different mentors that I've learned how to run Facebook ads from in the automotive space, um, this will save you a lot of time because together, cumulatively, I've personally have tested a lot of these um, offers at this point, have handled tens of thousands of dollars in uh, ad spend personally. And uh, from the people that I've learned this from have spent, you know, millions of dollars on these ads. So uh, at this point, it's very uh, conclusive to the ideas and the principles. So this video is more about the principle of why these offers work uh, in the first place. So with... This, um, so the offers is the most important part of marketing. So this is basically your idea of understanding like the offer, like a cheat sheet and like why you can um, utilize these offers to be successful with marketing in the automotive space. So the three main pain points, um, I'll say four main pain points in car sales is going to be, um, Number one, down payment. Number two, credit. Uh, number three is interest. And then monthly payments. So all of the problems that customers face in car sales are going to come down to uh, these four uh, primarily, right? Other than the you know specific vehicle model, stuff like that. Um, we the, the reason why these offers uh, are work so well is because when you offer solutions to these problems, you're no longer um, no competing on price or make of a vehicle. So a lot of people just think that uh, automotive um, marketing is, um, it's not just about promoting your vehicles. Which is fine. Like, yeah, there's people that look specifically for VIN specific models, but like there's another type and class of customers in the automotive, um, in the automotive uh, customer base, which are people that just 
need a car and don't really know what they want. And, you know, they just want uh, something that gets them from A to B and there's different types of customers overall. So those are the type of customers that you want to attract. And, you know, that's where you can do the most um, help is helping them place them into the right vehicle based off their needs uh, and desires, whatever they uh, want the vehicle specific for. That's why we're in the automotive space, helping people find the right vehicle for themselves. Okay. So when you understand this point, it's really big um, point to drive home is these four points uh, is the core idea and basis of what your offers are going to revolve around. Okay. So if you're going to create an ad. Uh, the other point here is now that you understand these pain points, you still want to continue to understand who your customer avatar is, okay? So customer avatar. So understand this. There is a specific type of individual that likes to purchase vehicles from your store or they're a specific type of buyer, right? So there's obviously different types of buyers in uh in the space and they have different needs and they have different desires and they have different problems. So the best way for you to identify what your ideal customer is, is look at your financing structure. Okay. So identify this by looking at the finance structure uh, at your store. Okay. Uh, whether you are, are a, a dealership owner whether you are an automotive uh, broker, whether you are a car salesman or an agency owner, like look at the uh, financing structure of the dealership that you're working with, because that's going to tell you exactly who you are looking for specifically. And so there's three types of main structures. Um, specifically in... Um, in the automotive space, right? And this is uh, captive financing, uh, uh, captive financing, we have bank associations, and we have buy here, pay here, okay? So depending on where you're at, um, each different type of store has different types of financing structures. So captive financing, is basically um, lending from the manufacturer itself, i.e., um, you know, Ford, Toyota, Honda, et cetera, okay? So that's what that means. Um, so when it comes to ca captive financing, like what you want to understand is, um, your manufacturers are the one who are giving out the loans. So obviously, if you work for a, you know, a franchise dealership that has captive financing, um, nine times out of 10, they do their own, uh, they have their own financing department. So let's say it's a, you work at a Ford store, Ford has their own financing department within the dealership that actually uh, writes the loan and the manufacturer are the ones who write the checks for the loan. So uh, what's important about understanding that is Obviously, the manufacturer doesn't want to have to take on a lot of risk when it comes to giving out a loan. So that's why a lot of captive financing companies are looking for, um, you know, people with good credit history, making their payments on time, have a good stable monthly income, stable job, uh, and a history and rapport of that, okay? Um, bank associations, right? This, depending on where you're at, if you have multiple banking associations at your franchise or at your dealership, most most dealership, most independents and uh, um, franchises will have a mix of this, right? Depending on how many banks you guys uh, specifically work with, uh, you know, it, you, if you guys have more of an area, um, I've seen this more in like the the Texas to like middle uh, the middle east of the U.S works a lot more with um, subprime financing. So, you know, like Westlake, Santander, um, companies like that are uh, geared more towards specifically for subprime financing. So with that, you want to keep in mind that, you know, um, uh, you, you, you can have a, a, a wide variety of different types of banks that can approve different types of loans. So 
if you can approve different types of loans, then you can run different marketing campaigns depending on the, the financing structure, which is I'm trying to uh, get into uh, the point at this point. Uh, so understanding that as well uh, is one point. And then a buy here, pay here is just people, uh, dealerships that take on the loans. Um, the vehicle is paid off. They mainly make their money on repos just because most people um, can't pay. They um, they also make money off tacking uh, percent onto the loan. So, um, you know, buyer pay here's, you know, depending on what type of store we work at, um, you know, some people actually do genuinely help people with bad credit get onto their feet. They actually educate people and, you know, it's not always a bad thing, but, you know, there's also other dealerships out there that, you know, don't really care, um, put on a crazy, uh, interest rate. And then they will repo the, the car eventually because the person will default on their loan. Uh, and then they go and take their car. So, uh, depending on where you are with your, um, what dealership you, you work at. Uh, you, you can figure out what type of um, offers you can run specifically for um, uh, each type of customer avatar. So what's important to look at now is the type of credit score um, you can generally work with and then understand um, what your customers' needs slash desires are because like think about this you don't want to be generating leads for a uh at your dealership if you know um if if you guys are um if you guys can't approve them that's the problem that a lot of agencies and a lot of um people run into is they can't generate closable leads for their dealership specifically right so um That's a big point to drive home is understanding your uh, who you can get approved, who you can work with specifically in order to, you know, get this stuff done. So regardless, that's like a main point for you guys to understand is identifying the customer avatar by identifying uh, your financing structure at the dealership. So the next point here is creating an offer. Okay. So I'm going to spend some time real quick. Um, listing out some offers but then you guys can start to um uh look at what you guys can do Okay. Um, so these right here are going to, I'm going to explain to you guys um, what type of offers coincide with um, these solutions here. Okay. So a lot of the offers that I've ran and learned uh, fall underneath these four uh, categories. And the reason I call these evergreen offers, okay? Um, the reason being why these are evergreen offers is because, you know, specific dealerships run, uh, let's say, um, sales events that are seasonal and um, you know, they aren't necessarily uh, year round or the manufacturer puts out a special for a specific month, whatever, whatever. Um, these offers I call evergreen because no matter the time of the year, these are common pain points that all customers face in the dealership uh, space who are purchasing a vehicle. So um, this is why you can take this into account. So evergreen offers, like I said, uh, I can make a video about VIN specific leads and VIN specific um, ads, but like, honestly, guys, like I promise you guys, like this will get you guys results. Like 
other than everything else that you see out there, there's a lot of bells and whistles and it's super confusing um, in the automotive space. Cause I was, I, I, I've been in the space for a while and I'm still, um, it took me a while to really get and learn all this stuff and accumulate and amass this knowledge here. But what you want to understand is that an evergreen offer um, is exactly what it sounds like evergreen because it always um, solves a pain point that exists for all customers in car sales. So um, let's see, right, guys? Um, let me explain to you guys a little bit. So, so special special financing is um, offers that have to do with, let's say, um, down payment, um, down payment, uh, interest, or monthly payments. And these offers are for more, for more prime customers. Um, the reason being is a prime customer cares about uh, interest rates, just because you know um, they don't want to be paying the bank more than they have to be. Um, they also care about down payment, uh, just because most people, uh, if they can get approved with zero down, is, is very helpful. Um, and then they care about their monthly um, payments most of the time. Depends on who it is. But um, this is for prime customers. This took me so long to learn. <laughs> it took me so long to learn. Um, but so special financing for customers that are prime customers, um, they care about monthly, they, they care about these three things here. And then for like a subprime customer, um, they don't really care about the interest rates. It's more about the credit, down payment, and then uh, monthly payments. Those are the things they care about the most. So those are like the two different types of avatars in car sales. Um, prime customers are a little bit more difficult to uh, get, kind of. But you know, um, if you work at a subprime store, you can you you like. You, you can find prime customers. It's just not as um, common as people with subprime. So I digress. So some special financing offers, for example, are going to be um, like 0% down or zero down. Um, uh, zero percent APR for X months. And, you know, you can change these variables, obviously, as well. Um, you can be like $500 down for, you know, X APR for X amount of months. That's a good one. Um, zero down with X credit score. Um, 0% uh it, it again you can change these numbers but 0% uh APR financing on x vehicles or specific months um leasing specials um what else are there x um x like twenty five hundred dollars off um let's say uh let's say if you work at a Chevy Silverados twenty twenty three uh Silverado or or a specific vehicle or you could be like um Mm. It's also universal down payments. Or you could be like veteran special get X off any vehicle, something like that. 
So, you know, from this, you can kind of pick and um, play around with this. So like what I want to teach you guys is not just to like copy and just take this. They do work. But what I want you guys to understand is how to come up with an offer. Um, so, for example, if you go and talk to your manager or let's say you are a manager or whatever, like you're coming, uh, you run an agency, you can present them with uh, these different types of offers. And you see how uh, this one plays around with uh, uh, down payment and monthly uh, or monthly interest. Boom, you kind of tack those two um, and it tracks based off of this uh, prime customer's needs. So it solves their interest and down payment needs. Yeah. Um, and then from here, you can also do zero down with um, X credit score, which is um, put zero down if you have at least a 620 credit score, something like that, right? Um, it gets you approved for uh, a vehicle or, you know, 0% APR on um, brand new, you know, Nissan Rogues, uh, whatever, right? For, for you know, let's say 82 months or something like that, or 84 months, my bad. Um, leasing specials, uh, you know, let's say you work at a BMW, uh, you know, and let's say you guys have a special for leasing financing. Um, or, you know, for here, it's $2,500 off a specific vehicle, has to do specifically with down payment. Our veteran special get X off of any vehicle uh, at a specific percent. So for example, like, yeah, you can just, you see how it plays around with some of these main pain points. So um, it could be like, so let's say for uh, like, a, like an exercise, I could be like, okay, X down um, for $1,000 down, um, get payments as low as, as, um, 250 per month on, any, on any, on most vehicles. That's a really good offer, right? So there you can start thinking about it. Or a second one would be like, um, you know, let's say zero down, um, 2.999% APR, uh, and, um, as low as 350 payments with qualified credit. Boom. Amazing offer. It's like <laughs> that you can just write, uh, offers out of thin air, right? Uh, so if you have constraints or whatever at your dealership, or if you have a manufacturer's um, things you have to play around, like this is why I'm teaching these principles where you can come up with different things instead of you know having to play around specific uh, problems. So let's say subprime financing. Um, my go-to subprime financing, if you work at a at a store that works with bad, bad credit, is get approved campaign. So get approved is basically like, Hey, if you have a uh, X, Y, Z, um, if you have an X, Y, Z credit score, um, doesn't matter if you have an ITN, no social security repos, bankruptcy will help you get approved on any vehicle. Um, you know, shoot me a, a, you know, a message if you want help getting approved for a vehicle. All right. So there's that. Um, and then we have, um, you know, um, let, let's say there is a, um, subprime financing is just having to do mainly with the credit. So yeah, that's what I would do is the, um, or apply today, drive today. Which is basically like, you know, put in an application, see if you can drive today, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So trade-in special is like 1K uh, extra on your trade-in towards down payment, or it could be 500 towards your trade-in or, you know, zero down with any trade. Or 
will buy your car for um, 1K over KDB or something like that. So uh, you get trade-ins from this, right? Um, you know, you can trade in or trade up. That's kind of the idea and concept. Sales events, it's like um, Mother's Day. Uh, Mother's Day just passed, but it's like Mother's Day. Um, get $500 off or towards down payment. Or let's say uh, tax season, it's like, um, bring your um, tax return and get approved for a vehicle or a winter sales event um, X down X percent APR for you know, uh, let's say Tundra's um, four runners, Sienna's, blah, blah, blah. And then universal down payments are more of like, um, uh, you know, there is $500, $500 coupon, you know, get $500 towards down payment. Or get um, 1K gets you driving with X credit. Um, 399 down gets you driving. Whatever, right? Like X amount gets you driving a day. Or zero um, down or a. with approved trades. So that's that, you know? Um, like that's how you go and write an offer and create an offer that will get you results. So like I've used all of these and these are ones that you guys can just take uh, and use for yourself. You just have to be creative um, and apply it for yourself. Uh, identifying who you would like to work with I would create um, different offers for different people. So the thing is with this is you need to create, um, if you work at a prime and subprime store, you know, if you want to, you want to have a, a variation of both, what you want to do is run, um, you know, offers that are more geared towards um, okay credit customers. Um, and then, you know, really good uh, credit customers, which are, you know, let's say the zero down, 0% APR, um, or you have like the thousand dollar trade-in special. And then you have um, like a, like a, you know, let's say a um, $500 coupon, right? Or a thousand dollars gets you driving. So like, those are three different campaigns you can run, test them all, see what works best and then um, be able to move from there. So the other thing here is um, now that you have the offer is now writing a video. So I highly recommend, so to create this uh, ad creative, right? Um, now that you have the offer, you need to be able to create uh, a video or uh, get pictures that you can promote. So some videos you can do are some testimonial photos, testimonial videos, um, photos of some vehicles, you in front of the cars. Um, so this is for photos, right? And then you want to have the ad copy. So like, this is how you write, uh, ad copy. And, um, you can obviously put this into the, um, into the vid, like make this as a video. So the way you write uh, an ad creative is gonna be hook, problem, solution, call to action, okay? Um, so realistically here, so the hook is just to get someone's attention, right? Get someone's uh, attention. The problem is 
pain point customer faces. And then solution, uh, how to fix pain point. And then call to action, what they should do to fix pain point. So let's say for example here, guys, right? Um, we'll take the thousand dollar down special and we'll write um, like an ad copy or ad video that you can create. So let's say um, 1K uh, gets you driving is the offer, right? So the hook would be like, hey, if you live in XYZ, uh, county or city um, and you're looking for a vehicle, watch this video. Um, and I, I'm telling you like, yo, if you were to record a video on your phone, what, what you can say um, and run this as a you know video. And then the problem is lots of people struggle with coming up with a big down payment, but just need a vehicle to get them to A to B, pick up groceries, groceries, their kids, and, and to get their family around. The problem, is a lot of people can't get money to put towards a car to get them going. So the solution is um, I'm running a special to get anyone who has at least $999 down into a brand new vehicle with approved credit or whatever um, whatever requirements you need. So, you know, specific income, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And then call to action. So the call to action depends on um, what objective you're going to be running with the Facebook ad. So um, I'll say it here, but I'll probably make a more in-depth video about it. But uh, you're either running a lead generation campaign, um, which is name, phone number, and email, or um, you can do a messenger campaign where people message you directly on Facebook, right? Um, and the third one is conversions where they go through a funnel. A funnel is a little bit more technical, a little bit more uh, advanced. But let's say you're running a message campaign, right? You, you can say... Um, if you you want to see if I can get you into a car ads only nine ninety nine down, shoot me a message. So the call to action is just whatever you want them to do. So submit a or say for example, hey, if you want to see if I can get you approved with nine hundred ninety nine dollars down, uh, you know, fill out the form down below and we'll see if I can get you approved for a vehicle if they click on the funnel or, hey, uh, give me your uh, name and phone number down below and I'll give you a quick call to see if I can get you into a vehicle, right? So that's basically it. And then you can use this as the, uh, use the same framework to write the ad copy. So it could be like um, attention, uh, attention people in Dallas, Texas, you know, um, are you looking for, um, a lot of, uh, are you looking to get into a vehicle at $999 down? A lot of people are struggling with, you know, getting a big down payment for their, them and their family. Problem is a lot of people just can't get the money. So uh, I'm running a special, get anyone who has $999 down to get approved for a vehicle. Uh, if you're, if you want to see if you can, uh, qualify for this offer, uh, shoot me a message, da, 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 da. Same, same thing, right? So, all right, guys. Um, this here, I promise you, if you go and learn how to set up uh, and watch some of the other videos on my account where, you know, you're like, okay, this is how I set up my Facebook account. So I set up my Facebook ads account and you record a video, uh, you know, using this stuff, then uh, 
it'll be super duper good. So for example, when I record these videos, I just do it in one take. Um, and then I edit it on an app called InShot and I cut up the video. Um, and you can add captions if you want, uh, but you know, some of them perform differently. Um, but yeah, like this is literally how you do this. Like this will be so important. Like come back to this video in the future when you're trying to run, um, you know, your Facebook ads. And, you know, if you run an agency, if you're a car salesman, if you're a dealership owner, auto broker, I hope this video is very helpful for you. Um, if you have any questions about it, you know, leave me a comment down below. And, you know, this is just uh, one part of a series that I'm making, just again, giving away the farm and just giving away everything that I possibly can. Um, just out of goodwill. And hopefully, you know, one day this goodwill comes back either with relationships or uh, doing business with people in the future. So um, if you've watched this long, hope this video is valuable and, you know, um, catch you guys in another video and uh, we'll go from there. So peace.